North Korea claims it launched a new type of tactical guided missile in the country's first weapons tests in nearly a year. We stay on this story and go straight to General Chun Im Boom, a former South Korean Special Forces commander. He is joining us from Seoul. Uh, commander Chun, uh, this new missile, according uh, to the specifics, can carry a payload of two and a half tons, and I believe that's enough to carry a nuclear warhead. Uh, how much damage can it cause? Yes, uh, so the North Koreans are asserting that this missile that they fired recently has a range of 600 kilometers and two and a half tons uh, warhead payload. Uh, this is a significant improvement from the previous missiles that the North Koreans are trying to replace, namely the Scud series missiles. But it's hard to believe that they would put a two, uh, they would be able to put a two and a half ton uh, warhead on this system. Uh, I would have to see it to believe it. Now, if they were able to do this, the uh, effect of this kind of weapon system to the layman would be uh, thinking of the biggest hotel in Singapore. If they were able to shoot that kind of missile at that hotel, that hotel would not uh, survive that kind of an attack. And it could carry a nuclear warhead easily. Mm. So, General Chun, how sophisticated is North Korea's weaponry becoming then? It's becoming quite uh, significant because it's making two very significant improvements. Uh, number one, uh, the accuracy. They're using GPS and some terrain imagery kind of technology. We, we're not quite sure, but I think... Uh, they've already said that they're using GPS, and this is this significantly improves the uh, missile's capability. Also, uh, we've seen that the at the terminal stage of this missile, it is able to maneuver and change from a ballistic trajectory. Uh, because of this characteristics, uh, it's harder to shoot down. So overall, it's. Uh, the new missiles from North Korea are more survivable and they're more lethal and accurate. Uh, General, you are describing a uh, somewhat increased sophistication behind uh, North Korea's latest launch. Uh, any sense of where they may have uh, got the know-how and the technology to get this far? Well, the North Koreans in the early 80s uh, imported Scud missiles from Egypt. And from this, uh, these early versions of Scud missiles, they were able to uh, improve upon the uh, technologies that they were able to discover. Also, the North Koreans are, I, I don't know, I mean, very smart people. The South Koreans uh, made cell phones and the North Koreans made rockets. And you know the saying that it's not rocket science. They say that because rocket science is not easy. And the North Koreans have invested money, uh, talent, uh, a lot of people, uh, a, a great deal of people, and they've been quite successful. It's, it's too bad that they would uh, invest such talent on a weapon of mass destruction. General Chun, it's been some time since we've seen North Korea conduct tests of this scale. What, in your view, are the pressing reasons behind why they've done it now? Well, there are multiple reasons, probably. Number one is to send a message to the United States, South Korea, and to the world that they can at any time shoot off a missile. And despite the new administration in the United States and the uh, final uh, stages of the Moon administration in South Korea, uh, political issues do not concern the North Koreans. So they have their own agenda. So they're sending us a message that they, could, they will do whatever they, they need to do. Another uh, message of, is of intimidation because this short-range missile could easily have been an intermediate or a longer-range missile. So they're telling us we can shoot our missiles anytime, anywhere, uh, in any circumstances. So uh, they're sending us a clear message of intimidation. And also they're trying to improve upon the uh, system that they're developing. 
General Chun, we appreciate your perspective on this latest North Korean Thank missile you. test. General Chun in Bombay, a former South Korean Special Forces commander.